Welcome once again to another important lesson based on your O-Level English language syllabus. In this lesson, you will learn about conjunctions, what they are, when to use them in speaking and writing. For your exam, you might get a fill in the blanks question, but in general, it is good to know how to use conjunctions successfully. In any form of written work, you will need to use them. So, what are conjunctions? Conjunctions are words that link other words, phrases or clauses together. Without conjunctions, you would write and speak complex ideas using very short, simplistic sentences. Instead of saying, I took out the coconut, I grated it, I made a pulse sambal, I was so hungry. With conjunctions, I could say, after taking out the coconut, I grated it and made a pulse sambal because I was so hungry. Doesn't that sound better with conjunctions? All the conjunctions are in bold. You would have noticed after and because Conjunctions allow you to form complex, elegant sentences and avoid the choppiness of multiple short sentences. There are three types of conjunctions that you really need to study, but it'll help knowing how they are grouped. The first type is coordinating conjunctions. Coordinating conjunctions allow you to join words, phrases and clauses of equal grammatical rank in a sentence. The most common coordinating conjunctions are for and nor, but or yet and so. You can remember them by using the nanomic device fanboys. Let's look at an example. We needed some fresh air and a nice place to study, so we took our bags and headed out to the playground. Sarojini didn't have a book to read, but she managed because I gave her mine. Because is also a conjunction, but I have highlighted the coordinating conjunctions in red. The second type of conjunction is the correlative conjunction. Correlative conjunctions are pairs of conjunctions that work together. Some examples are either or, neither nor, and not only, but also. Let's look at a couple of examples. Neither am I annoyed nor angry with you. Not only did I finish my English homework, but I also finished my maths homework. I want either this dress or that one. Subordinating conjunctions are the third type and its principal function is to join independent and dependent clauses. A subordinate conjunction can signal a cause and effect relationship, a contrast or some other kind of relationship between the clauses. Common subordinating conjunctions are because, since, as, although, though, while and whereas. Sometimes an adverb such as until, after or before can function as a conjunction. Let's look at an example. I can stay out until the clock strikes 12. Here the adverb until functions as a coordinating conjunction to connect two ideas. I can stay out that is the independent clause, and the clock strikes 12, the, the dependent clause. So the independent clause could stand alone as a sentence, but the dependent clause depends on the independent clause to make sense. Now that you have some idea about the different conjunctions, let's look at Unit 8, Activity 10. Let's do this exercise together. Fill in the blanks with a suitable conjunction. Crusoe considered the threats that could come from man or beast. He didn't decide to stay near the sea because there wasn't any fresh water. They heard the cry louder and nearer. 
Holmes was after him at a close distance, but the shadows were thick. While they were in the hut, a scream was heard. Now turn to page 86 of your workbook. There are two activities that are on conjunctions. Let's look at activity 12. Select the correct conjunction. The black and white dog sat by the window. You can have the large or small piece. I like coffee, but I don't like tea. I was hot, so I opened the window. We didn't go to the beach yesterday because it was raining. Now that you have a rough idea about conjunctions, try and attempt activity 13 on page 86 on your own. You are required to rewrite the sentences using suitable conjunctions. And that ends our lesson on conjunctions. Remember to use them when you want to make your otherwise simplistic short sentences elegant and complex. Please subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed this lesson. Take care and goodbye.